We're talking about apps on your phone um, for plants. He mentioned iNaturalist, which I have. I guess there's a new updated version called Seek by iNaturalist. Take a picture of the plant. It, it's not perfect, but it might tell you never assume that it's correct. I have had it many times incorrect. But that, and for birds, so might as well throw bird. Merlin is very good by Cornell um, University. That's a wonderful one for birds. You can actually play the call. It will tell you. You can, you can download the map of where you are and tell the location. You're, that's very accurate. What was the name of the one the iNaturalist or Seek by iNaturalist, which I guess is an updated version. Pointing out our state tree. What's our state tree? Palm tree. What kind of palm tree? Stable or, or cabbage palm. And if you eat the heart of it, what happens to the tree? It dies. It dies. But it's still, there's lots of them. You can't do it on state land, but you can do it on private land if you're clearing. And you can eat the heart of the palm, the terminal growing bud. You can eat that. We've cooked it. And it's like swamp cabbage, add bacon, bacon makes everything good. Um, <laughs> but um, hard, you can eat it raw, hard the palm oh, salad here. too. So bear, if you might go into bear country or Cala National Forest, you will see where they've been ripped apart the fronds to get to that terminal bug. Bears do eat love that. It. It will die. Yes. Hi. Hmm. But many places they are clearing them, they have plenty. I have harvested off private land, so you just have to work with your neighbor. And this is where we do our reenactment. Kids love to run up the hill and roll down the hill. This is a favorite place. If you want to give your adults can do it too. <laughs> and this is where we'll be for our um, August 13th at 3 to 5 a.m. in the morning watching for the meteorite shower. This is where we'll be. Mm. You have to reserve. You have to reserve for that. Of course, if it's cloudy, we are not doing it. All right, is so everybody here? Yeah. Okay. This is the stage I would pick them up and I would put in a paper bag and then it would mature into that brown pine cone and then you would have a seed at every scale mm -hmm. but if these are falling prematurely right now i have tried many times this time of year they just with the winds and storms they fall yeah. prematurely i'm pretty sure this will not mature and have the pine nut seeds but this you want to get these when they fall in the fall like september october put them in a paper bag let it open up in a couple weeks and you have pine nut seeds that you can shake out and i'll show you that later and you have to get these quickly when they fall because the squirrels will, are going to grab them. They're going to eat them as fast as they see them. <laughs> are they brown when you put them in the bag? They're green. I want them green. And the you don't want to use that green one. Why? Because this is fell. falling prematurely. Mm -hmm. This is probably not even going to open up at all. Okay. I have tried many times this time of year. Okay, so when it falls, you want a green one that falls. Yes. But when it's that time of year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you fall, <laughs> the brown ones that fall, yeah. the seeds are already gone. Okay, yeah, they've so long season. gone. They, oh, you know, oh, helicopter good. down, brown they're bag, not there. Good. So in September, October, I would collect these, put it in the paper bag, and two weeks later, look for that nice brown fluffy cone, and the seeds are all come out. You can just shake them. But right now, if you try, you can try. These are probably will not even open up. They fell down prematurely with some of the storms. Or a squirrel knocked it down. Squirrels are eating them now, but they're, they're, they're different. They have different teeth. But actually, if you want to eat pine nuts, the only pine tree I think that's worthwhile doing is the longleaf pine tree has the biggest pine cone, the biggest nut. Otherwise, it's little itty bitty 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 bitty. Um, so they're very labor intensive as it is. And you'll see in a little bit how labor intensive. I'll show you some. Longleaf. Yeah. Longleaf pine, yeah. So we have shiny blueberry, and you just passed the blueberries. There could be a few that might have blueberries. So they have small evergreen little leaves, um, dark green. This is shiny blueberry, but they were having fruit like more May, early June. That's prairie clover, which we're not eating, but it is abundant and it's not like pollinators are very attracted to it. Okay, we're moving along. So if you didn't see the shiny blueberry right here, small little petite leaves, very dwarf plant. Shiny or shiny? Shiny, S-H-I-N-Y. Shiny blueberry. <laughs> that's the that's fruit that's edible. Right. Yes. Yeah. They look like blueberries, but they're tiny. They're tiny. Yeah, they're, they are blueberries. They are, and they're, we have, well, like the ones you buy this we have blueberries, we have huckleberries and multiple species of blueberries. That's one that's the most common. Mm -hmm. Very clover. Edible? I've never heard of eating that. Okay. So it's a candy thing? Yeah, that's the, right here. If you haven't seen that close up, shiny, we'll see some more. 
Oh. It's common. <laughs> I want to show you, this is passion vine. Has, we'll try to see if we can find the flower or may pop has purple feathery flower. We'll hopefully find some. So it has this green, green fruit like this. Passion so we'll, flower. Passion flower or may pop. It's wow. a vine has, per, this is one that somebody commented that caterpillars do eat zebra. Um, long wing, which is a state butterfly, and also the um, Gulf fruit Larry both eat it. How does it get fruit if the caterpillar has eaten everything? Well, actually, we have, it just comes right back. Yeah, yeah. Just have the fruit come? It you... probably depends on how much you have, how much you have in your yard. If you don't you have, have too much. <laughs> you only have one Okay, if you only have one, there's a ton here. If you only have one, that may be challenging. And the fruit yes. edible? Yes. The fruit, <laughs> yes. The fruit is edible. I'm hoping Very we can nice. find some more here. There's some more there. I don't see no fruit. Wow, they're growing everywhere. Yeah. Can you, with your golf cart, go and see somebody who is bringing a that needs some help? Oh, right. oh there we go. And just help them whatever they need. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So this is a young fruit. Not very big, but it, it will get much bigger. So they'll get like this, and when they kind of dimple in, which this is too, this is not ready. This, so there's a purple feathery flower which is going by, may pop, or passion vine. Two butterflies, Gulf of Larry and our state butterfly zebra long wing will lay their eggs. Caterpillars eat these leaves. There's a bigger one may back there. Okay, we'll see if we can find some more. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right there. I want it. You do. Another little one is a big one. You can't have everything you want, unfortunately. I love passion fruit. <laughs> never, uh, so. Passion fruit. Passion yeah, they're passion citrusy. Yeah. Oh. It's not a citrus. Oh, there's one. Yeah, okay. I know it's not a citrus, okay. but it tastes citrusy. Okay. I don't, I don't think of it as citrusy to me. Oh, I see it. 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 That's the one you found. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Uh, this one's not ripe yet either. There's one right there. Oh, there's amazing. One where? There's one right below it. Yeah, I don't think that one is either. We'll go buy another spot. Uh, so that one might be. This one might be. This one, this one is dimpling in. Well, I'll find out when I open it. Oh, You're going to get all scratched up. Well, actually, I might get a few chiggers below that. Whoa. That's a slice. Oh, what's she got there? Yeah. All right. So you suck on the inside. And um, you have to, I mean, my hands are not that clean, so it's up to you if you want one or not. Yeah. Um, you suck on, it could be a little bit riper, a little more blackness into the seeds. And you can spit it out. We make curd out of this, we make drink out of that. Thank you. I'm hoping I'll find another one. It's going to be a little, it's like a sweet and sour taste. Oh, you can spit it out if you don't. Yeah. The, de the yeah, domestic ones are a lot juicier and sweeter. Yeah, it's, it will get a little sweeter when it's a little more mature. Yeah, so do I. The, de the domestic yeah. ones are still yeah. tart, like the purple yeah. passion fruit, mm. it's the, but it, when you cut them open, they're full of juice. And uh, right here, this is um, persimmon, the green, le big green leaves with little red tints to it. Male and female persimmon, the female is the one that produces the persimmon fruit. And there are persimmon fruit, but not, there's no fruit on this one. It's probably too young anyway to tell this. Native, native, male and female, you're going to have the female. Oh, all right. Yeah. This is all oh, gopher apple. It's going to turn white. Please don't pick them. I mean, like gopher tortoises will eat them. They're going to turn white. Very sweet fruit. So the gopher apple. All that fruit you see right here is brownish. Yeah, this is actually a very good year. This is the most abundant I've seen. Gopher apple. Yes. Where is it? Yeah. But they, they need to turn white. They are not edible right now. They're not ready. Okay. They'll turn white. They get and then much bigger. 
A little bit, a little bit. What color do they turn? White. White? A little pink, maybe a little pink on them. When they're white is when they're red? Yes. They'll be very juicy, they'll be sweet. Bigger? They'll be a little bit bigger, not a whole lot bigger. They'll be a little bit bigger. What's going on? Get a whole bunch. Go for, like the tortoise, the tortoise probably eats them, I'm sure. Apple, go for apple. And these are the blueberries, right? That's, yeah, here's a shiny blueberry he's looking at. Lots of the blueberries. Next, go for apple. Okay. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Here, that's the blueberry. That's cool. This is, this is um, soft palmetto. It won't hurt the won't hurt these plant if you pull it out of the. Uh, sorry, I don't have any reason. All right. Uh, Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. So this is saw. Excuse me. Saw palmetto. You know how I talked about the heart of the palm with the cabbage palm. This is basically a small version of that. You can eat any part of this that's tender. You're welcome to pull one out. There is um, saw-like teeth on some of the stems, which could hurt you. But anybody wants to, you could have this one. If you show me. You can pull, pull it out. I have one glove. Anybody want to try this one? Oh, you didn't. No. Did it just kill it? No, no. You did it. It's not kill the plant. It kills the cabbage palm if we took out the terminal bugs. It's not kill the saw palmetto. It's very small. So if you have to get a young one, if somebody, you can grab a young one, I have to find some more. If someone wants it, yeah, the very end, right here, here's one. Somebody else got one. You want to keep harvesting here, keep going. Is it a cabbage palm? This is saw. It's a cabbage palm. 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 It's Oh, you're fine. That's my bad. Just eat it raw. You can steam it raw. Yeah, I can't pull it. Yeah, it's not. You want to get the young tender one. Tender young. Edible at the tip. I got that. Salt, palmetto. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. Like the youngest one. Well, the young ones are like the harder ones to pull. That's why I like when I try to pull the younger one out. This is Paw Paw, and we are going to go back shortly. Paw Paw, just take one or two leaves and pass around. Has a very distinctive flavor, like crushed green peppers. Um, this is one the zebra swallowtail uses. It has a fruit, like a banana-like fruit, but that was a little earlier. And this is common. There's many species of pawpaw. There's pawpaw festivals in a little further north, some of the like, Kentucky area. You're welcome to take, I don't, well, I want to take a couple, I don't want to take too many leaves because it will defoliate. But if you want to take a leaf and smell, you can take, if anybody wants to smell. We don't have the fruit for you. Take a leaf and smell, tear. It smells like crushed green peppers. Fruit the fruit is edible. Yeah. Is the fruit good? I, I don't care for them, but some people do. There, there's some pawpaw species people really love. They really love them. They're, it's, they're a banana, actually, it's a banana-like fruit. Yeah, it's really. The northern ones are really good. This, yeah, I don't think ours is really good. I had tried them. I wasn't. I put them in muffins. I wasn't real impressed. Okay. They're actually uh, the North America's largest native fruit. Yeah. But it's a, it's a good-sized banana-like fruit. They're in the yeah. same family as mangoes yeah. and yeah. Yeah. they're actually a tropical plant that followed the, the ice age the glaciers up. Wild asparagus. Wild asparagus? Yeah, sure. I'll find some more if it's a blackberry. Here's another one. Anybody want wild asparagus? <laughs> no, you're good. That's my favorite. <laughs> I will, um, here's another one. If it gets older, it is a little less bitter. It's younger, like March. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah that's cool. We're not, we're not the prime time. Yet. Okay. Yeah, that's a little that's bitter. A yeah, that's a, that's a lot. <laughs> another person. Oh, God, that's a little bitter. We're not in the best time of year. For <laughs> The one I had wasn't bad, actually. Did you say No. Um, no. No, that's a poison swan. Oh, <laughs> that's Caroline Jessamon. Oh, that's, that's why you don't want to, yeah. 
all, all these may pops are all probably all yeah they're i think they're probably gone fermented so all this wasted fruit on here oh well we, we missed it that would be pretty sweet they're probably actually pretty sweet i think they're probably a little too cool. yeah. uh, passion vine may pop oh okay the um that one's too hard it needs a dimple in so no around us so I still brought them but if you want to do a nut this is a nut cracker that you can get into and sample the meat it's, it's a heavy duty you don't have you don't have too big a squirrel so you put it in here heavy duty like I think from Wayman which services the Amish and you can eat that white meat and we use dental picks to get the meat so somebody can come and try that Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait till I show them. All right. Are those even that's dried already? Those are, I, I got them a previous year. I kept them in the refrigerator or freezer. So they fall in the fall, like October, September. Can I try cracking them? No, no, wait, wait till I finish talking. But you can a little bit. All right, pine. Long leaf pine. That's our biggest pine. So right here, I harvest these pine last year. And if you, um, that's, just, that's what you want to do once they dry. I got them, I, I collected them this way, green. Put in a paper bag, and then they turn like this. And that's all the seed coming out. And when you get the seed coming out, this is not, this is not for everybody. This is labor intensive. This, is, this end, you want to work with your finger, nails, and there will be a little yellow seed in there. And sometimes they're duds. And there might not be any seed in there. Looks like this one might not be. Um, whoops, I mean, that was a drug. No, 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 stop. Yeah. Stop. I'm going to try another one. Let go. Let go. You have to put them in a paper bag, Let not go. a plastic bag. Yeah, you want it to breathe. But any, inside the shell, which is a nut, duds are fairly common in the natural world, which means there, the seed did not. Okay, this one's good. Who has eaten pine nuts here? Not me. Not you. <laughs> well, you can you can um, with your family come up here and harvest one out of here. Still, we've had volunteer work days. So actually, um, you know, can you go carry them and show people that you see? So that's inside one of these papery. You're welcome to come up here. There's more in this bag. You're welcome to try. And if you get a dud, you get a dud. That's, that's, part, of, that's part of life in the... And then you can eat it. So I'm putting them up here. You're welcome to try. So, okay, I can have several people Just put the needles in here. This is sand pine. It's a smaller needle pine, drier area, like most of Spring Hill is sand pine. Um, we here, we have one leaf on this property and slash pine, maybe loblolly, but I, I like this flavor of this one. I do have long leaf here too, we can add a little long leaf too. All right, over here, this one, I need to have somebody wash the root for me, so anybody know what this is? Looks like sassafras. It is sassafras. We are in a, a southernmost range of sassafras. I need to have somebody wash the root, I have some knives, we're going to chip away at the bark, and we're going to put it in a pot with boiling water and simmer it, and we'll have sassafras tea. Okay? I, I harvest this in Hernando County. Uh, I know a spot, and I'm going to tell you where it is. <laughs> uh, it has leaves, different kinds of leaves. Some of them look like mittens. It's very characteristic. Different kinds of leaves. This is a mitten leaf. This is a regular oval leaf. Who would like to take care of this? I need you to take care of the, take the bark, 
Wash the spigot and then I have you slice it up. It's a small bush and then you just give it. It could be a small tree. It could be a big tree. Yeah, but down here it's more of a small tree. Small bush. You basically took the tree out. I took a, a part. It's a very suckery. I put a portion of it. What are you going to make with that? Like the bark? With the bark? With a root? Yeah. And the whole thing, you're going to chop and you don't have to have it. You just have to wash your hands. So I want you to rinse these off and chop them up in little smaller pieces, like a little little cube, like you're going to cut a sauce. Okay? I have, okay? And uh, who wants to do tread softly? This is the one that we dug up with the post hole diggers. Yeah, these, oh, are, these are my, these are from Shinsika. Oh, this, this is a big part. This is okay. my favorite place. There's more clay in the soil. That's why I like them. So I need somebody to rinse these really carefully. And I, and I have, um, I have two people. Um, and I have, I have a slight work going to get me to struggle. Yeah, you can have some ground. And then, and then I want you to, we can work somebody out. I want to cut up like this. Do something then, honey? Yeah. I'm going to video him again. Okay. I'm going to what you doing, Brayden? You're getting nuts out of the out of the pine, the pine cones. They taste good. Yeah. Good. Or he's got a whole pile right there. Reminds you of cassava, don't it? He grows cassava. Oh, yeah? This is my wife, Amy. Hi. Hi. This is Boyer, my husband. No, but we grow, uh, um, I'm not sure the exact cultivar. I bought it at a homesteading show one year, and now we have it growing everywhere. So once you've got it growing, it's spread nicely, huh? Yeah, well, you cut it. When you chop it down, yeah. when you go to harvest the roots, you chop it down and you just cut it in short pieces like that. We've done that with all the fruits and stuff. Oh, wow. So it's easy to grow. Yes. So it covers it. Yeah. Okay. And keep, keep working the berries. Never heat this up. It will destroy the flavor. Never put hot water. No way. It's really rough. Tom crap with your hands. So keep, somebody can work on this one. You can have gloves on. Keep working, working, working. It can take like a half an hour just to soak if you don't have this flavor intensive uh, bruising that we're doing. But um, we don't have time to wait, wait, wait. So, so you would just put so you would thing. do it for, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm good. Yeah, I would let it sit for a half hour or so, yeah. even 40 sorry, minutes, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to physically take that to, to make, make it. Oh, so you could just it. put it in and let it sit for a half an hour, or you could mash it up. I do it just to a little bit. Okay. I'm going to get in there and brew. Collect it. Just break, break, brew, 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 brew. I'm going to get some crab pitcher. We're gonna get some cloth. I'm getting some clips. You can you can follow me. We're gonna get a cloth over it, and then pour this over it, and then we're gonna get some sugar and a spoonful and add it. It looks and delicious. Some cups here. Anybody wants to do this? Put a pair of gloves on. But maybe there's hope when you cook it. I was surprised. What you got here? Picking pear cactus. Oh, nice. You're doing a good job. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you're really doing a good job. Yeah, you're really doing a good job tearing that apart. <laughs> He's cubing it. He's cubing I'm sorry because your hair's long. Is it that hard? Yes. That sassafras? Yes. Holy cow. I'll call you. Oh, it smells. Okay. Is that what it smells good? Yeah. Wow! I used to do this back in West Virginia, but we never used the big roots. We always picked up the teeth and pulled up the little, the, the tiny little ones that are so skinny, and you can just chop them. Right. Wow. So never had to actually. That's cool. Shred up a root like this before. Let's <laughs> go put your muscles to work. <laughs> My voice is really low. They think I'm gone. So I understand. I boil it and make mashed potatoes out of it. Um, I make cassava fries where you boil it and then you slice it up into fries. 
That's and then right. deep fry it. That'll be that's some of the best French fries you've ever had in your life. But you have to heat it because yes, you have to cook them. Cassava. He's talking about cassava. Oh, okay. Cassava has arsenic fries. in it. Arsenic or <laughs> arsenic? Boy, oh boy, you guys are working hard, aren't you? And then you pick it out into the bowl. You getting all the meat? Here, Sam. How you doing, Braden? Here, Sam. So don't eat it. <laughs> don't eat the picture. Take it out. Hey. Ooh. Is this uh, the metal one thing? It was the one that they were digging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The metal that's not really a metal. Yeah. Okay. Wow, those look good. Pine needle tea. 